So as we frequently do when we encounter a new concept, our first goal is to just sort of try to figure out like what it is that we're talking about. References are one of these unique ideas that both have a real place in computer science, but also have some very natural sort of real world meanings. Uh, but let's look at the computer science definition first. So what Wikipedia says is a reference is a value that enables a program to indirectly access a particular piece of data, particular data, such as variables, value, or record in the computer's memory or on some storage device. Um, now, where our object contents are located is not something that's gonna really bother us too much. We will come back and talk about this in a couple of lessons just to examine some Java internals together because that's kind of fun. Um, but what we're really focused on here is this idea of a reference as referring to something. Um, you know, a reference is not the thing it refers to. We have some examples uh, in the text here about kind of the distinction, right? So for example, my house is a physical object. If I give you my address, you now have a reference to my house. You can dereference that reference by coming to my house or follow the reference is a word that we'll sometimes use. Um, keep in mind that there are two distinct things here. There's my house, which there is one of, and there's my address, which I can write down on 10 pieces of paper and give to 10 different people. All of those people now have a reference to my house, but I still only have one house. So we're gonna see how this plays out in Java with the difference between us storing a value in a variable and actually creating a new object using new. The other thing that's really important that really is a nice sort of analogy to a real world reference is this idea that if somebody makes a change to something that they have a reference to, that change is visible to everybody who has that reference. So if I gave 10 of you my address and one of you came over and decided to paint my house purple, then everybody else who had a reference to my house when they came over would see that change after it was made because there is only one house. And again, we're gonna see that play out as well when we start to manipulate um, our objects using references, which is really what we've been doing all along. But today's the first time that we're starting to be more clear about this. And again, I can't stress this enough that, you know, despite the fact that maybe this isn't a concept that's always really talked about um, in Java or explained in this particular way, references are so important to your understanding of computer science because they become so ubiquitous. There's so many different places where we use references. We're gonna talk about them primarily in terms of Java today. But in the coming lessons, we'll talk more about other places that references pop up in all sorts of really interesting and unexpected places. But so this is kind of our, our core definition, right? Which is a reference is allow, allows us to refer to some other thing. It refers to some other thing and allows us to access that other object, but it is distinct from that other object. 